Hi, I'm Jason, and I'm sucking off bad. Uh, spoiler alert, he's won. Oh, that's just he's won. Oh, oh, ow. That, that, that good. That's pretty good for a drunk guy, huh? Yeah, that, it took me a moment to get I did. That's because you're, you're stupid and drunk. Ow! Oh, we're right. on fire. All right, let's move on. All right. Yes. Uh, we're going to be reviewing Stan Lee's. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. We got we got to get our Dos Equis. I don't always drink, but when I do, I drink Dos Equis. You always drink. You always drink. That's a lie. Guinness. It does the body good. Right. Okay, um, we're going to re review Stan Lee's Traveler. Is that what we're reviewing? Yeah, through Boom. I forgot. Issue number one. We, oh, fuck, where am I? Okay. I'm reviewing the mon Monster Hunters. Oh, uh, I didn't care much for that. Did you actually read that? I've read part um, of it. It's cool. I like it. I think it's funny. <laughs> so, with the Traveler, I definitely prefer Soldier Zero over I, th it. I think that this one's uh, more intelligent. It's harder to follow. 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 follow, follow. Now, I follow. really... I, yes. Yes. That word. I follow. like Mark Wade. He does... Uh, I like Mark and too. Irre me. And irredeemable. I love those comics through Boom. They're I. I get them all the time. They're awesome. They're more intellectual, I guess, because of the stuff. Um, we had to Google search, like all the laws of relative. Yeah. Of the universe. Yeah. The universe. yeah. So I guess there's two that there's three bad guys right now. There was. Electromagnetic. Yes. What was the other, Karina? We had electromagnetism, gravity, gravity. gravity. and nuclear force. We, and nuclear force. Who, he, it must be the one that he wouldn't reveal because we saw a magnetic guy and we saw the other guy. So the basic story is this guy is an older gentleman, traveler. It appears he's an older gentleman. Oh, so and uh, he seems to be from the future. I, I don't know. He said that he's not a time traveler. In the book, he said that he is not, even though he controls time. He said that they are and he is not. Right. Um, in the comic book, spoiler alert, if you haven't read it, uh, the first person he saved is this African-American woman. After he saved her, he needed her glasses to be destroyed. Why did he have to do that? I think he controls time. I don't think he travels through it, and he needed them to set up something else. Through time. Like maybe she had to go back and get glasses, so it's because she needs to get glasses again, she saved. I think like maybe the villain was supposed to break her glasses and in order to keep the, the universe, oh, the universe okay. from imploding for changing things, he had to he had to destroy her glasses. Listen to that makes a lot of sense. And like the bus driver I think, you know, because he saved her or whatever, he broke the the laws of mm -hmm. time travel in order to fix them. What was supposed to be done is her glasses were supposed to be broken. I think we're going to find out a whole lot of crazy shit. This just feels like a smart book. To me. Yes, it really does. Uh, like the bus driver. When the second person he saved was the bus driver. The bus driver was running late, and he shouldn't have been running late with the yeah, And he yelled at him for running late. Yeah. Told him never do it again, something like that. Yeah, and because of that, it caused this other gentleman, to, the other bad guy, to come along. Yeah. So... It is going to be one of the smarter ones, probably. You know, I almost have a feeling that these guys that are villains aren't necessarily villains. I almost think that they're really strict controllers of time. And he's like the one that is less strict and maybe is kind of going against their ways a little bit. And is he working for a company because of the logo? I that... He has a logo, so I think maybe he's a separate company, maybe a more, uh, uh, you know... You don't need to kill somebody because it's through a time kind of company. You just have to fix things. What I was feeling a lot while reading it was Langoliers. Did you ever see that from That me? sucked. It did suck that I was kind of... This didn't suck. This held my interest. I didn't fall asleep after the first page. I, I fell asleep. I have never finished Langoliers. I'll be honest. Oh. I don't think I've ever finished even the first half. The ending blows chunks. But it kind of had that feel I felt, kind of. Um... It's so funny because Jason's talking about the movie and then he's talking about the movie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, There's a movie? Yeah. 
Yeah. When that come out? Is oh, it a TV God. movie? Decades ago. Is like it a TV? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I don't really watch TV movies. With, uh, Bronx. Yeah. Oh, when he said Bronx, I got excited, but then he said something else. And what else? <laughs> um, I am intrigued also, as you said. What did that, for the first lady that he said, the cell phone seems to have had some purpose. Like, It, it counted down time and it long. stopped. At like thirteen sixty six or something, he kept showing that yeah, it number. Went. So I think he stopped time for the whole battle. Yeah, and he said it's hard to stop time, but he can't stop the bad guy. Yeah. So the I think of- he, I think that he can. Uh, I feel as though his powers, he can control time. He might not be able to be actually traveling through time. Okay, yeah, that would work. I don't think he's a time traveler. I think he can control time. He can stop it. He can speed it up. But I don't think he can travel through it. And the other guys can. That's well, what I feel. If they go by Einstein's laws, maybe he can move fast as light. And the fa- um, the faster you go towards light, there's more time stopped for the person. So maybe that's it. And it's easier to... Go to the future and go to the past. That, that would make sense to some ways too, and that follows my theory a little bit. And it does match up with the other fact that they're using the Einstein clause, because the emblem would have been on a digital readout, which would be light. Right. And it got stuck. It's a number, whatever oh, number it was. Yeah, okay. So maybe he was able to hold it still or move so fast that everything was taking place within that second. And what I didn't understand was in the sewer scene, where he's like, okay, you have to move now. In three seconds, move. He said that to the bus driver. Bus driver moves. The villain, which possibly will call the villain right now, punched. He shifted away, and the guy hit into the brick wall, and that green light appeared. What was that? I assume it will be explosive, <coughs> but it seems like he knew it was supposed to happen, and he set it up. I think he's a guardian of time. And with the detective, there's a detective uh, because the FBI are really interested. Like they're like, we shouldn't have all these villains and superheroes running around. He knew who she was, and when something occurred to her, he was like, "No, you did the Dark Vader thing." Like I said, I think he's a. Uh, I think a lot's yet to be revealed, and I think he's a guardian. Of some kind, and I actually think the villains are guardians as well. <laughs> this might all have like spring theory but in it, you know. It's neat. Uh, the art's decent, yeah, which is yeah. always nice. Who never seems to put out bad art? No. Which is good. They never seem to put out top line art, but they never put out bad art. And it seems like like DC and Marvel, every now and then you pick up a book and you're like, this I should burn. Yeah. Okay, uh, we have seven minutes. Uh, I'm going to review a comic that I we're now also doing. We it. never grade it this. If oh, you're going to skip to a comic, yes. you got to grade this. Out of 10, I'm giving this, because of the mind fuck, I'm giving it an 8.5 that I could see the series being maybe even stronger than time, the Souls of Zero. I'm going to give it a 7 because I don't know what the fuck's going on yet, so I don't know how to grade it, so I'm going to give it a C. Yeah, the first is more. Yeah. If it, if, it, if it explains something in the next two issues, it might be a good series. I actually suggest you pick up the first two or three here to see what's going on, even though I'm giving it a lower grade, which I'm usually the guy who gives the higher grades out of us two. Um, it's interesting. It's really intelligently written, but it's just, it doesn't really, you don't get anything out of the first issue, so I, I can't give it anything better than a seven. It's lost. That, that, that's the easiest way to it, where you're just like, what the fuck? And it's worth reading. Pick it up. It's, I think it's a solid 7. I hope issue 2 I can give an 8, and maybe issue 9 I can give a 9. Yeah, it could grow. I think it's going to grow on us. By the time we get to issue 9, 10, I'm going to be going 9s, 10s. Yeah, it, it's a slow starter that makes you think, which is good. Comics need to be like that. All right, uh, so we're also reviewing first issues of comics that came out. Uh, I'm re- reviewing issue number zero of Lady Mechanica. It's through Aspen, and I'm really starting to enjoy a lot of the Aspen comics. Mine feels really good. Scourge, I'm enjoying. 
this comic, the art, the basic look for an acting comic. Um, I like the strong female role, which is pretty standard for acting. So yeah, well. yeah, they do have a lot of females. They have a lot of girls. Um, it takes pa- place in the past, like the 1840s, and like uh, metal technology, mechanical technology is like starting to appear. I enjoyed it. I'm not going to pick it up. I might download it, see where it goes. The first ten pages I really liked. They introduced like this like little <laughs> creature that had mechanical parts. It's almost like a really bad scene. <coughs> yeah. Like, oh, this is where you fly the silly and then you're going to Yeah. yeah. The villain is really not a villain. He's more of a scientist that wants to advance Technology. Are villains ever villains anymore? Sometimes. Ever since Night Needle, no villain has been a villain. Dr. Light's a villain from DC. He's a cancer. He doesn't care. They tried to make him badass. It didn't care. Zantana fucked him up and made him all these things. Zantana kicked her ass at the end. Zantana kicked her ass. That's enough. So, okay. um, Pick up Zero. I, it's an ongoing series. Uh, it'll, be nice. it'll be interesting to see where it goes. Yeah, it'll very interesting to see where it's going. In a different direction, but um, it's going backwards. We'll, we'll, and, see. we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll definitely see. Uh, That's how we'll see. Oh, so if uh, one through ten, I'm giving it a six point five. It wasn't my favorite, but. I do want to see where it's going, and I like the strong female character, and she's kind of cute, you know? There we go. All right. Marky, your turn. What's well, your... I'm going to review a comic I actually haven't finished reading. Yeah. How about that? I have read part of this book. It cracks me up. It, it's kind of a lot of reading, though, so reading part of it counts as reading the full comic. Yeah, because it's not a it's, comic. It's kind of in book form. Yeah. So I read this book here. Monster Hunter Survival Guide, which I guess I really haven't read since I've only read part of it. Um, it's pretty sweet. I liked it. I thought it it, it, it was a hoot. This a guy, hoot. He, he didn't like it. But I think it's a hoot. You, you basically have your, your mummy. It tells you yeah, like how to fight him. Inside, you know, yeah. It gives you, gives you a creature. It tells you what to do. But it's very comical at the same time. I think that at some point it actually says to like Stab somebody in the heart and run for cover because they might explode and it might smell bad and you might have to fart the gas or something like that. I, it, it's a, it's pretty interesting. Um, if you like books like the Zombie Survival Guide, you might find this interesting, a good read for somebody that's a fan of that kind of stuff. Yeah, it really did have the feel of. That. Which I was a big fan of that, so I'm, I'm liking it. Uh, if you don't like that kind of stuff, you should probably stay away from this. It, it's in book form too, so every page is just it. You have a picture up top, you and it, the light yeah. so you have a picture up top, and then you have a listing of words. It's really in book form. It's hard to call this a comic book, but it is a comic book, and I guess it's number one. So I don't know if they're gonna run this in a series or no, not. No, it's a mini. It's like a five-parter. Well, I. Even a mini series is confusing to me on, on this particular book. I feel as though it finishes in in this book, even though I haven't finished it. I just don't see like what are they into? Just keep listing monsters, I guess. No way. I guess you know, but they used all the famous monsters in this one, so I guess every book or maybe it worse. Maybe they'll start going with the comic books now after they went through that. I just... it, it it'll be interesting. I should have finished this, but you know, I, I'm sorry to say. Basically, I've been saying all my free time reading Harry Potter, all right? I, I was behind on my Harry Potter. The you got mo- the movie. Uh, you got to read your Harry Potter. But but here, here's the thing. Monster Hunters, it's funny, yeah, and it's good. good. You should read this. One through ten. Six and a half, seven. Somewhere in there. Pick one. All right. Thanks. Have a good evening. Read more Harry Potter. Yeah. Harry Potter. Potter.